when you get an impression, act upon it, however uh, unusual it seems or however inadequate you feel in following it. Over 50 years ago, I was serving as a counselor in the Chicago South Stake Presidency. I had received an invitation to be the sacrament speaker in the evening uh, in one of our far west units near Aurora, Illinois. This was about a one hour drive from my home. When I received an invitation to speak, I had usually gotten impressions about what I should speak about. On the occasion of my invitation to speak in Aurora, I didn't have any impression. I left and pondered as I drove, what will I speak? I was halfway to Aurora before I got an impression, but I followed the impression I had received to speak about things I had observed in the Chicago criminal courts. And I spoke of young people who were brought into court for, for thievery of various kinds, including shoplifting. And I talked about how serious this kind of crime was and how effective the storekeepers with the aid of the police were in apprehending young offenders and what happened to them when they were found guilty of such offenses. As I concluded my talk, a mother came up to me tearfully thanking me for my talk. She told me that she had a young son who had been involved in shoplifting. This mother said, when I learned that you were going to speak this evening, and when I knew about your background, I prayed to the Lord that you would say something that would help our son. You did, she said. He listened to you in a way he has never listened to us. And I thank you for hearing the Spirit of the Lord and, and following it. When you get an impression, act upon it, however uh, unusual it seems or however inadequate you feel in following it, act upon it. There's a reason. You may not know the reason, but blessings will follow to you and someone else if you hear him.